Good morning and happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, April 4th. I've just been sitting here. It's a little after 6 a.m. I've been sitting here working on this dishcloth. It's almost done. This pattern is it's by PJ Allen. I think it's like grandma's favorite or something along those lines. Um, but I know it's by PJ Allen. It's free on Ravelry. I'm just using up leftover bits of cotton that I have from other other things. I haven't done dishcloths in a little while, so this was fun. I picked it up last night. It was when I'd already started and worked on it a bit while we watched TV. But just a fun, mindless knit. So that's what I've been doing this morning and catching up on some podcasts on YouTube. So yeah, I thought I would do another vlog today. I'm not sure what all I will get up to. It's a Saturday. Normally they're crazy busy with the basketball. Austin's club team usually plays games on the weekends, but nothing going on right now. So we will see what I get up to. I'm hoping there will be a lot of knitting happening. We'll see. I would come and sit in my office for a little bit this morning. I finished this dishcloth and I started another. So I'm going to work on this just for a little bit and then I have three new designs in my brain that I think I'm going to kind of draft up. Typically when I start a design I will just draft it up in a notebook or on some graph paper for something that needs charted. So I'm going to do that today for three new designs and I have a couple of project bags to clean out that I finished the projects and then I haven't taken like the notions and all of that out. So I need to do that and then I will get the three new projects or three new designs, the yarn in the project bags and all of that good stuff. So that's the plan for this morning. The boys are still sleeping. Eric's watching some TV in the living room. So I'm gonna get just a little bit more work done on this dishcloth because I'm enjoying them so much. I'm cleaning out some project bags that I've recently finished projects out of and I wanted to show you, this is the new design that I finished last night. Just very simple texture, just some eyelets. I will be, hopefully this coming week, needing testers for this. So keep an eye out on Instagram. That is the only way that I put a call out for testers is in my Insta stories. And there'll be a link there that you can sign up if you're interested in test knitting. So keep an eye out for that. So I've been sitting here going through my cabinets, pulling out some things, not just for designs, but just a couple of upcoming 
socks that I want to work on. I thought I would show you guys what all is going on. I have the new design that I just showed you. The socks are blocking in the bathroom sink right next to this room. So let's take a look at everything I've pulled out here to start going through. All right, let's see what all I have got picked out here. So this is going to be for my April Desert Vista Dye Work socks. So not a design. This will just be some fun knitting. This is Radioactive Zombody. Matches my nails. So I don't know. I was feeling the need for something super bright and fun. And this caught my eye. So that'll be my April sock. So I'm going to get that caked up today. I have another yarn set aside over that way that I'm actually not sure if I can show it um, for a design. I need to double check and see if I'm allowed to show that. So it is set aside for me to cake up as well to get a sock design started with. And then I have this sock kit from Lizzie Ann Yarns. It is their Harry Potter Club January. They sent this to me for a sock design. So it has a little mini. And then you can see the yarn in there. I have it in this from Cookie and Bees. Just kind of holding it in there. Don't have a project bag picked out yet for that. And then this I've actually had in here and ready to go for a bit. So I'm actually going to get it started. But this is Knit One and Sew Two. Let's see who this bag is from. And the yarn... I picked this up at Tempe Yarn and Fiber. Goodness, it was right after I moved here to Arizona. It's from Nitty Kitty Bags. Siberian must be the colorway. So it was a sock kit with the mini and then the full skein. And the pink and the gray together just really caught my eye. So I caked this up a little while back to start a pair of socks with, and I figured this week would be the perfect time. So I'm going to start this on Monday for Julie of Twin Stitches Designs sock challenge that she's doing. It's to knit one pair of adult socks in a week, and it actually starts tomorrow, April 5th. And on Instagram, she is Julie Ann Knitter, so you can find out all the information over there. But I'm... I'm going to knit these, so I'll start them Monday because tomorrow I'm going to work on just scrappy things, but I'll start this Monday and see if I can get them done in the week and then put them aside for a Christmas gift. I already know who they're going to go to. Let's see if I can get that tag down inside of there. All right, then I have pulled out my big basket of scraps these are from leftover projects some that have been sent to me and then over here I have a couple of skeins for new designs that I'm thinking about so this gray I'm going to use it to work on a fingerless mitt design the rainbow connection socks I'm thinking a pair of a rainbow connection fingerless mitts would be a lot of fun so I grabbed this gray and I'm going to go through here and pull out some collars to put in the mitts. And then here I have Nitpicks Stroll Fingering in the white. I've pulled out two to start, but I have, gosh, I think I have three, three more of these. They're 50 gram, 231 yards. So I have quite a bit of these and I'm going to play around with an idea for a scrappy shawl. We'll see how it goes, but it's going to be fingering weight held double. So I'll throw some minis. I might go through my swap list swap minis, the bags that I have of those and put together some fun combinations and get that started sometime soon. All right. So those are what I've kind of pulled out to play around with today. I have a couple of things to get caked up. I'll do that later. But first I'm gonna sit down um, with my notebook and just kind of jot down the ideas that I'm thinking for the two sock designs, the rainbow connection fingerless mitts, which should go pretty quickly because I already did the socks. So I know how that pattern is gonna work up. The scrappy shawl 
and kind of get everything in project bags with the needles and ready to go so that I can hopefully get most of them started this week. We'll see. It doesn't always work out like you think it's going to, so you have to go to the drawing, back to the drawing board and start again, but we'll see. I have some pretty solid ideas, I think, so we'll see how it goes. And then I came back and got the kitchen cleaned up, some dishes going, and some bread in the bread maker. Now I've sat down to get everything into project bags. I think I finally picked out all the yarn. I'll give you a sneak peek here. This will be for the scrappy project, the scrappy shawl, that I am hoping to start tomorrow. Then picked out these for the Rainbow Connection Fingerless Mitts. I'm just going to alternate, um, this gray will be the main color, and then I'll alternate stripes between the purple and the pink. And I think that should be enough. It's two 20 gram minis, so it should be good. But now to get them into project bags, finalize the notes and get little, I like to put little notebooks in each design bag that I have going. Notions and all the goodies. since the last time I checked in. I've got some laundry done. The bread is out of the bread maker. I got quite a few patterns charted up that I needed to kind of tweak a bit. So we'll see if they work. This was kind of like the first chart of them. So we'll see if when I actually knit them up, they look how I want them to knit. But I'm caking up some yarn. So this will be for an upcoming design. This wasn't even on my list to cake today, but I think I know what I'm gonna do with it. I charted it up, so I went ahead and caked the yarn up just in case I, I don't know, want to cast them on. This is by Wild Star Fibers, and the colorway is Villainous. So yes, that's caked up. The design is charted. I have a couple more skeins to cake up, and then I think I'm gonna go sit on the front porch and knit because I'm in the kitchen right now. I normally set up my stuff at the kitchen to cake yarn and I can see out front and it looks so nice outside. There's a little bit of a breeze. Eric actually just went on a bike ride. I think I'm gonna go sit on the front porch and knit. I think I said this morning, I think I did, that I hoped I would get a lot of knitting done today. It's 2.30. I have not knit very much at all today, but that's okay because I feel super productive. I really got like the first charted draft not like drafted up like typed up but the first charted draft done for multiple designs notes done for a shawl design i'm feeling productive you guys so that's okay that i haven't got knitting done i'm set up for this week coming up to start some of these new designs a couple of them and then the other ones will just be ready to go whenever i am ready to start them so it feels very nice and very productive, especially with the change in our schedules now. I won't have as much time. Normally I would work on stuff like that in the mornings after the boys go to school, but now that they're doing school from home, I don't really have that extra time in the morning. So this was kind of nice this morning to be able to kind of shut myself back in the office and just get a bunch of stuff done. 
So all right, I'm gonna cake up yarn and go knit. Finished the heel flap and turn on this. Now it's time to go make dinner. So hopefully this evening I'll get the gusset stitches picked up and get started on the foot because I want to have this done by the time I podcast this week. is about 8 45 i just came upstairs to get ready for bed and realized i didn't record much after we were outside so we hung out outside for a little bit on the back patio it was a gorgeous evening we did some s'mores which i enjoyed i was gonna say the boys loved but i enjoyed them as well and then we just came inside and i didn't even i knit a little on a dishcloth on the yellow dishcloth i started that's really all that we did this evening. So I'm going to get ready for bed now, but I wanted to tell you guys good night and thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.